Hello and welcome. I'm Laura, Canva creator and Canva creator ambassador for the UK. And I love to share my Canva skills with you. So today we're going to be looking at creating a background pattern, how you can create your own background pattern. So I'm going to go over to share my screen and we're going to have a look. Okay, so here we are. We are over on my canvas screen. So the first thing we need to do is create a design. We need to create it to the size that we want the background for. So for example, if I was creating a Facebook post um, and I wanted a background for my Facebook post, I would create a Facebook size. Well, it can be any size because you can stretch it afterwards, but I tend to find if you create it for the size of your design, it just makes it so much easier. First of all, we need the element. What is the background going to be? So I'm going to type in floral, if I can spell floral correctly, but we do have some other elements coming up under, under floral. Let's spell that correctly. Floral. Okay. So I quite like this one. I think this is really pretty and I love the colors. So I've added it to my background. I'm just going to pop it there <clears throat> and I'm going to duplicate it, but I'm going to pop it in the center and I'm going to duplicate it again and it pops it to the end. If I duplicate that again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. so that I have them facing different directions. Now, these are not perfectly aligned. They're all a bit wonky, so I'm going to highlight them, drag my mouse across all of them, go to position and click tidy up, and it will just space them equally for me. Now, I like this pattern. I could leave them highlighted or again, drag my cursor across all of them and go to duplicate. Add it there, duplicate, duplicate. I could duplicate again to make sure it goes off the paper if that's what I'm looking for. So if you're creating um, wrapping paper, for example, make sure it goes off the paper. I'm going to highlight the whole lot and just centralize them. So I've got equal amounts up and down on my design. So I now have my pattern. I can change the background color if I wanted to. I could go for this peach, but I could make it a nice light peach. And I have my background. So now what do I need to do? I would like to download this. I can have it as a transparent background, but I don't want that because I want to have that color. So I'm gonna download as a PNG file. <clears throat> I'll save that to my desktop and I've added a new page, just a blank page so I can show you my background. If I go to uploads and I'll upload my media, I think it's on my desktop. There we go. I can now use this as a background for any of my designs. So I can add it into my design. And this is what I mean by creating it to the size you want. You can just drag it out and it fits your design perfectly. I can also change the transparency. So if I just wanted a hint of a pattern in the background, I can do. I can now add my text. Um, anchor Online Designs, for example. <clears throat> drag that out. So I can now create my post over my background. We'll give that a nicer font. Oh, I do like this one. We'll change the color. So it's still got the colors of my um, template up here, but you will also find if it's done it, there we go, photo. So now you have the colors of your background because it's a photo it will put them into the color section here. I can add um, a shape, for example. We just go shapes. One of my favorites, I like this one. 
I'm going to just make the lines a little thinner because it's a very thick square. And drag it out centrally on my design. Change the color, maybe a light pink. I could go dark pink. And you can start to build your design, but now you have got your own custom made background for it as well. Um, I'm going to go for elements, something fun. So even something like this would be a good background pattern. Again, I like the idea of flipping them. So you could do have elements crossing over slightly like this. So something different you can add to it. There we go. I'll do four and I'm going to highlight them and I'll make, it, make them bigger so they cover the whole page. And you could use this as a background as well. Download it, you can add a background color in, you can change your transparency. If I highlight the whole lot, I can change the transparency within the design itself. If you just wanted to use this as a background, but if you download it as a PNG, you then won't accidentally move any of the elements within your background. And you, you also have all of the colors anyway within the color section. So there's just a super quick way of creating your very own customized backgrounds in Canva. So what do we think? I think that's quite fun. You can do it with any of the elements or you can upload your own elements as well and you can create your own custom backgrounds. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to follow along on my YouTube channel. I've got loads of Canva tutorials coming up. This is just a super quick one today, but I have lots of features and different time saving um, things you can do and some fun arty type um, artworks that you can create in Canva as well. So there's lots going on in the channel. So please don't forget to follow. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.